Hello world, I'm back to tuning in today's 10 to 14 day video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 will take us to the 8th of January. And we'll be able to set up your map with the excellent GFS ESM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. And that gets us well into the last stages of January now. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say the first video today is our 16 UK weather forecast. Please like share and subscribe on both days please thank you so much everyone for doing that i'm gonna be live with channel members tonight at uh, 7 p.m so if you're a channel member we've got lots and lots of channel members now um thanks to all of the gifts that have been uh, given out on uh, recent live streams particularly from my good friend kieran bushnell it's kieran's birthday yesterday he was 50 years old so happy birthday uh kieran but uh, yeah so um we got uh channel member live coming up at 7 p.m you ram a channel i'll see you uh then if you're a channel member Remember, so much everyone for doing that for us. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to start off with the latest wind from that from Earth, no school.net. Show that with Prima Wind in from a chilly north, northeasterly direction today. Through the north of the west of Europe, we're a blocking area of high pressure out in the Atlantic towards Greenland and Iceland. And colder air is moving down around the eastern side of that area of high pressure. Central England temperature is now sitting at 7.1, that's 2.5 degrees above 61. Tonight, I average is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 28th of December. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles. Looking at London today, showing a lengthy cold spell uh, here. So the red line is the 30 year. Upper air temperature out of London. We're starting off a bit above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but it is going to be coming down over the uh, next week or so. So uh, particularly into uh, into next week, find the upper air temperature between minus 5 and minus 10 at 858 PA. Really quite cold uh, by the weekend, I should say. And then uh, after that into next week, well, hovering cold on average, maybe coming back up a bit, but still uh, the trend looks generally quite cold there through to the middle part of January precipitation-wise. It's going to be a lot of dry weather over the uh, New Year period. Hold on. <coughs> so, so we got video all live stream about a cough. Going to be a lot of dry weather <laughs> over the next um, few days. But uh, as we get into the weekend and next week, the precipitation spikes come up back. Uh, snow row. Looks like that with some significant snowfall spikes showing up there between around the 3rd and the 10th of January. Remember that's for London in the South East as well so areas further north and west will probably be uh, snowier than that. Looks quite encouraging for snow. Temperature anomalies. Next five days, 3rd of January. Uh, colder than average. The uh, 8 to 12 day. It's cold across the board, look at that. Uh, most parts of Europe, away from the southeastern corner, plunged into cold conditions. And uh, we keep it cold in an average uh, for the um, 8, 10 to 14 uh, day as well to the 12th of January. Precipitation wise, it's going to be uh, pretty dry over the next uh, seven days. The 8 to 14 day is also coming out dry out to the west near normal elsewhere. Right, time to go through the all important chart data then. So, this is our latest UK Met Euro run. is looking for uh, midnight, where's my cursor? Midnight on um, New Year's Day. Midnight New Year's Day, Big Ben is chiming. So, high pressure push up towards Green Iceland. Low pressure is heading in towards Norway, and uh, this is putting wind into a colder northwesterly. The northwesterly is turned to northerlies as we go through the uh, opening days of January through next weekend. Very cold conditions there. And, uh, we've got low pressure, but also a little secondary low down across South. That could bring some longer spells of snow into the south, maybe, uh, through the course of next weekend. By the way, this, uh, uh, this uh, video will be focusing on the midnight and 6th there. Run if you want to know about 12Z, I'll be going through at 12Z data with channel members this evening. Okay, Icon, midnight run. Again, high pressure push up to Greenland on New Year's Day. Low pressure heading into Norway, pulling wind around to cold northerly. Northern wind setting in then. 
as we go through uh, next weekend, very cold conditions through next weekend, and with winds in from the north and from the northeast, definitely a hint of some snow potential for uh, particularly southern and eastern parts of the country, uh, with that proper, probably a proper northeasterly doing then. I haven't got the KMA up, but I want to get that up because I haven't shown it for a couple of days. So hold on, everybody, I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, let's have a look at KMA. So, uh, this is how the uh, KMA looks for uh, New Year's Day. High pressure going towards green, low pressure into the doorway, bringing the window out to colder uh, northerly. And then northerly winds continue through the weekend, coming weekend, uh, looking very cold then. Keeping low pressure close to the country with uh, further enhanced snow potential up there. And the lows carry on coming with that cold air sitting over the northwest Europe up to the 10th of January. That looks like a very cold uh, first 10 days to January there, uh, I have to say. And there will be, if that comes off, snow potential with that as well. Right, OK, well, over we go to the GFS. So we'll come back to 12Z when I'm with the channel members. Uh, later, this is a midnight uh, GFS, though. And again, uh, we've got a high pressure going up towards Greenland on um, New Year's Day, low pressure into uh, Norway, bring wind into cold, northerly cold, and wintry with northerly winds, northeasterly winds there through the weekend. Looks like it will be a very cold weekend, potentially, um, and we keep that cold weather going into the beginning of next week as well. High pressure starting to slip southwards around day 10, so turning milder from the west and from the southwest there, only briefly, though, man. Another low looks like it's diving in, diving in from the north and uh, ridge building out in the Atlantic again. So becoming colder again after a brief, milder interruption. And by the end of that GFS midnight run on 14th of January, we're trying to get high pressure up to Scandinavia there. We're trying to send it to Scandinavia. Uh, okay, next we go on to the uh, 6Z. So again, low pressure heading towards Norway, high pressure pushing up towards Greenland. On Thursday, on New Year's Day, down comes that northerly, north northeasterly winds taking us through to what looks like a very cold weekend with snow potential. Wind trying to back into the west, low pressure coming into that cold air. Yeah, that could deliver a significant snow event there for parts of Ireland, England, Wales with that little low. Back into the northerly as we go again by the 7th of January. Uh, beyond that, well, high pressure slips up with wet and windy weather starts coming in from the Atlantic, turning mild of air for the second week of January with GFS 6 m And uh, generally looking unsettled, mild, wet, windy, or milder, wet, windy by the 14th or up to 14th of January. So shortening the cold spell there with the GFS, particularly about 6 m run today. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all my videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and get them to subscribe too. Thanks so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. It's awesome. Absolutely amazing. Thanks so much. We've got around 60 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.9k. Thanks so much, everyone. And by the way, if you've given a donation to us through PayPal over, over the past few days, I, don't worry, I will be giving you your shout-outs in 10 to 14 days, probably starting from tomorrow, uh, you know, and going through um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, etc. So I've got a bit behind with, things, with it being Christmas, uh, but uh, we've got quite a few uh, shout-outs to do. So if you want a shout-out, then all you need to do is go to our PayPal page, give us a donation, we'll give you a shout-out, maybe a Happy New Year from Gab, and, um, and that's amazing. Thanks so much. And those of you who have donated since Christmas Eve, uh, you'll be getting your shout-outs very, very soon in particular. 14 days and thank you so much right okay gm no pressure into norway high pressure pushing up towards greenland on thursday and that brings down this cold northerly for the new year normally blast for new year there um little secondary low is dipping through maybe hint of a polar low even there um, that pushing us through, bringing perhaps some heavy snow uh, uh, the weekend into next week. Again, keep things cold for the beginning of the week. But it begins to turn a bit less cold around the middle part of next week. By day 10, though, we're back into those northerlies and fundamentally blocked again with high pressure around Greenland. And then the ECM rounds it all off with northerly winds setting in on New Year's Day. They will be bringing uh, very cold conditions with them and an increasing risk of snow as well. 
into uh, the beginning of next week. We keep it cold also with uh, low pressure again to sink close to the country um, and winds in from the north. Low pressure coming in from the Atlantic around day 10. That looks like it could be a snow event as that low pressure moves into that uh, cold air there. Um, and, well, then we've got another major low getting going around Biscay. Blimey, check that out. Now, that could deliver political conditions to southern parts of England there. Um, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> if it came off, um, uh, by 360 hours, maybe the hint of the wind trying to get back into the west. That's the 13th of January. Very long way off, of course, but... This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tobetshow.com. So, we see a lot of dry weather, of course, over the next few days. But to go into uh, the new year, well, air turns cold, air showers turn to snow. Particularly, again, as, the, as is often the case with northern is showers around the coast, the northern facing eastern and also uh, western facing coast. And then low pressure moves in from off the Atlantic as we go through the uh, towards day 10. So this is getting us to the 7th of uh, January. Uh, low pressure coming in from the Atlantic, bringing a major stir event to most parts of the country. Only the extreme far south and southwest is it mild enough for that oh, precipitation to be uh, rain elsewhere. Heavy snow moves in from the west. And then we go back into those east northeasterly winds uh, once again for day 10 itself with more snow showers into the east and into the northeast. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Oh, hold on, I've got to change that over. Hold on, everybody, hold on. There we go. These are, that didn't happen. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10. Well, this is the option on the table for day 10, given it's only one. Uh, check this out. Good agreement that day 10, 8th of January, 51 out of physical members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with low pressure to our south and east, high pressure ridging through the Atlantic and going up to Greenland, bringing the wind in to a cold north or northeasterly. So, all options looking cold and winchy there for day 10 with the ECM on summers in two time. This is the option that we've got prolonged cold spell hinted at here. This gets us to the 13th of January. Uh, again, 51 out of 50 members of the ECM on summers, all of them with low pressure sitting over and to the east of the country. High pressure still blocking towards Greenland and Iceland, and wind still coming in from that north or northeasterly direction. So, at both day 10 and day 14, all the options, all the options are pointing to cold. Wow, wow, wow. CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar high to knowledge breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 29th of the December to 4th of January. But next week, with high pressure in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland, low pressure to our east, winds coming in from a cold, uh, northerly, northeasterly direction. Week two is going to be the 5th through to the 11th of January. Chuff of low over Scandinavia, a ridge in the Atlantic, and again, that brings the wind into a cold, uh, northerly once more. Week three is going to be the uh, 12th to the 18th of January. Still a trough of low over Scandinavia, probably bring the wind down from some sort of a northerly direction there as well. We are losing the blocking a little bit. And then week four goes milder. It's the uh, 19th through to 25th of January, with winds returning back into the west. Uh, and that goes back into like a zonal type pattern with high pressure south and low pressure to north. So milder by week three, by week four, but well, a bit milder by week three, I would say, but definitely milder by week four. Weeks one and two, though, looking cold. This looks like it could be a prolonged and potentially quite serious cold spell that's setting up here. We'll see. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content, live streams, etc. etc. Don't forget to get to your friends about Gaz Thanks so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Going to be live with channel members in about an hour's time. I'll see you later, channel members, for this one. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.